Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Pastekig Lao has steeliness to handle challenge of rebooting Tottenham. Transformation of a failing Celtic team should not be dismissed by supporters and his attacking style will appeal at Spurs. Let's not beat about the bush. I was a joke when I was appointed, Ange Pastekig Lao said on Saturday. The Scottish treble completed at Celtic, his work there done but his thoughts going back to the summer of 2021 and the beginning of his first job in European football. Because, as plenty of people said, which self-respecting club would take a manager from Japan's J League and with next to no profile? Once it was Arsene who, now it was Ange. Celtic, moreover, were in a mess, the fans furious. The squad in need of a reboot after a failed season when they finished 25 points behind the champions, Rangers. The previous manager, Neil Lennon, had departed in late February and the hunt for his permanent successor had passed the 100-day mark, Eddie Howe having been targeted only to decline. For Celtic then, read Tottenham now. There are so many parallels and perhaps the biggest one concerns whether the imminent appointment of Pastek allowed to replace Antonio Conte who left in late March, is too much of a gamble. Because which elite English club would take a manager from the Scottish Premiership with next to no experience of the top level in Europe? There is the view among a constituency of Spurs supporter that it does not matter whether the Scottish league is passed on, say, Brendan Rodgers or Virgil van Dijk, it is still the Scottish league. They will view Pastek Aglau's transformation of Celtic, league and league cup in his first season all three domestic trophies this time out, through such a prism. They will note Pastek Aglau's record in Europe was poor, first a Europa League group stage exit, then the same from the Champions League, and they will be ready with the I told you sauce if it goes badly, even if it starts badly. For the Grey Seaborn, Australia raised 57 year old, the pressure would come quickly. At which point it is necessary to mine a little deeper, as the Spurs hierarchy have done, to show respect for the behemoth that is Celtic and to assess Pastek Aglau's achievements in the world game. Just because they did not come in Western Europe before Celtic does not mean they did not happen. Pastek Aglau started badly there. His first games brought an aggregate defeat against Midtjylland in Champions League qualification and, by the end of September 2021, his team had lost seven times in all competitions. And yet they would not lose again in the league. A run of 31 matches. This season, the record in it read, W32D3L3. Two of the losses came after they had sewn up the title with four games to spare. It is simply not normal with a team rebuilt on the hoof, out of crisis. It was why Pastek Aglau came to be faded by the Celtic support and why he spoke so glowingly about them after the Scottish Cup final win against Inverness Caledonian Thistle on Saturday. A lot of people made fun of my appointment, he said, the emotion in his voice clear. But the supporters just put their collective arms around me and said, no, he's one of ours, it would have been easy for them to have been skeptical and it would have made my job a lot tougher, especially through that early period. They deserve to feel good about the fact that while a lot of people ridiculed, they stood by the person that represented their football club. There was barely a dry eye across Celtic social media but the comments bear a reread in a Spurs context and not only because here was a humble, unifying figure, capable of making the right connections. Pastek Aglau is not the first manager Spurs considered but he ticks a lot of boxes, especially in terms of style. He is obsessed by speed and hard running, with passing, attacking football, playing the game proactively and on his terms, normally 4-3 three in regardless of the opposition. His Yokohama F. Murdino's team hogged 58% of possession against Manchester City during a 2019 friendly, albeit in defeat. Yokohama played some incredible football, they were an incredible test for us, Pep Guardiola said. With the Spurs chairman, Daniel Levy, it can often seem as if each managerial hire is a reaction to the previous departure, making it hard to discern a consistent blueprint. He has bounced from Glenn Hoddle to David Pleat to Jacques Sandini, from Juan Ramos to Harry Redknapp to Andre villas Bowles, from Maurizio Pochettino to Jose Mourinho to Nuno Espirito Santo and Conte. Pastek Aglau is the counterpoint to Conte in several areas. 
He has a reputation to make and is willing to be patient, to rebuild with the staff and budgets he is given. It is inescapable that Levy's appointments of Conte and Moreno, win at all cost A-listers, with the emphasis on cost, blew up before they worked out. Pasteca Galau is synonymous with South Melbourne, his hometown club, where he rose through the youth ranks to become a first-team player for nine years, winning two national championships, before injury ended his career at 27. He won four caps for Australia. His first steps in management came at South Melbourne, winning two more league titles before a stint in charge of Australia's under-17s and under-20s. After a hiatus when he went to Greece's third tier to manage Panacheki, he coached Brisbane Roar, Melbourne Victory, Australia and Yokohama. There were two further A-League triumphs with Brisbane in the J-League with Yokohama in 2019 their first in 15 years. But perhaps his finest hour was with Australia when he led them to the AFC Asian Cup in 2015, the nation's only trophy outside Oceania. He also qualified for the 2014 and 2018 World Cups, resigning before the latter finals. Talk to those who know Pastekaglau and the same themes recur, self-assurance, steeliness, cool under pressure, remorselessness. He understands sacrifice and the meaning of an honest day's work, mainly through his parents, Demetrius or Jim, who died in 2018, and Vala. They took him out of the military junta regime of Greece in 1970 when he was five to make a new life in Melbourne, arriving with nothing, not even the language. Life was tough and there will certainly be perspective when Pastekaglau assesses the challenges he faces at Spurs. The Harry Kane situation has evolved to the point where it is now assumed that he would like to leave, with Manchester United and Real Madrid circling. The captain, Hugo Lloris, is on record as saying he wants out. The past season was a disaster. The fans are disillusioned. Pastekaglau has been here before.